What I have with me, Bing! you know what this looks like? A giant grape. In today's lesson, we're gonna find out about how the Israelites found giant grapes and all kinds of delicious fruits in a new land. But before we get into that story, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. We're gonna learn so much new things, and we can't wait. Amen. Hi, everyone. My name is Cass. Today, I wanted to share one of the stories that I like in the Bible. It's about two brave and courageous men who trusted God. They went to spy on the promised land and, and had an adventure. Here's the story. After a long journey, the Israelites were almost in Canaan, which is the promised land. God talked to Moses and told him to send leaders to spy on the land. There were 12 leaders in all. Two of them were Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb are my favorite. They are brave. They trusted God, so they were not scared. Moses told the 12 leaders, you have a special mission. You will be like spies. Go to the land and see what it looks like. Get all the information that you can. Do they have forts? Is there a land to farm? Do they even have trees in there? But most of all, Moses told them to be brave because their mission was very important. The 12 leaders went to Canaan. They took some things with them to show to Moses. One of the things they brought back were giant grapes. Giant grapes. You heard me, right? They also saw the people who lived there and they were strong. And when I say strong, they are like giants. No wonder their grapes were giants too. But other than the city was incredible, 
It was big, well guarded by uh, um, the giants. The 12 leaders went back and gave their report to Moses. 10 of them were scared. They said they looked like grasshoppers next to the giants. I'd be scared too if I was as tiny as a grasshopper. But Joshua and Caleb were brave and they trusted God with all their heart. That's why they are my faves. They told Moses they can have the land God promised them. When the time finally came, Joshua and Caleb were able to enter the promised land. Woohoo! I hope you guys enjoyed the story of Joshua and Caleb. Remember, you too can be brave. It's quiz time! Shout the answer! Ahem. Shout the answer if you know, okay? Okay. What did the man see in the promised land? I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Giant graves and strong giant people. Second question, what did Joshua and Caleb went to do because they trusted God? Take the land. Third and last question, who were the only people God would allow to enter the promised land? Joshua, Caleb, and their children. Awesome job, kids. You guys were paying attention. I see you, I see you. Well, I love the story of Joshua and Caleb. It reminds me to be brave and trust God, even when things are scary. I had so much fun with you guys today. I hope to see you in our Zoom classes this afternoon. The link is in the description box below. Before we go, let's say a prayer. Close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. We had so much fun learning about Joshua, Caleb, their children, and living in, in your abundant life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday.